it's in! Oh dear, oh dear! And it's Lobb gets the header. It's there! The winner there from Bobby Gould. Now the quarter-final at Highbury. Nice piece of skill, and what a save by Day! The ground beat Lampard, now it's Kidd, and they beat him too. And Bond, back to Day! Oh, penalty! No! The referee, Ken Burns, was right there. Bradford just couldn't turn it up. Ball, Matthews! Goalkeeping supreme! Bonds. Taylor, Brookie. Taylor, number nine. Taylor! 21-year-old Alan Taylor, signed only four months earlier from Rochdale, became the Hammers' Cup hero. Those two goals in the sixth round were followed by two more in the semi-final replay against Ipswich Town at Stamford Bridge. It was a night when Ipswich themselves, despite equalising with that own goal by Billy Jennings, had two other efforts disallowed by referee Clive Thomas. Then, ten minutes from time, Taylor struck again to put the Hammers through to Wembley in John Lyle's first season as team manager. No wonder when the Hammers reached their cup final hotel that Taylor was the man in the spotlight. It, it really is a bit of a special dream come true for you. I mean, you, you get your first match against Arsenal and you score two goals. You get two in the semi-final. Yeah, I think I've come a long way this year. Big step up. But I think the rest of the lads have helped me tremendously. Well done. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> you've, got, you've got the party line in. Trying to spoil Hammer's party, none other than Bobby Moore, now playing for Fulham. Fraser for Fulham. Mitchell. Conway. Mullery found himself so much space today. Cutbush. Bush. No whistle. Oh! Two mistakes by Cutbush, and this is Holland. Taylor's in the low middle, but covered now by Moore. Jennings. Alan Taylor. beginning to break. Jennings. Bonds again. Try to find Patton. There's Lampard, cleared by number two, Cutbush. Patton again. Patsy Holland, who started the goal move through the fullback's mistake.